Oh, welcome back everybody. Um, we did manage to change positions, so we on the western side of the den and I actually think we're the first vehicle that these cubs have seen because <laughs> they actually had a look at us and then dived back into the hole. <laughs> So mother doesn't seem to be too fussed. Just thought I'd wait until the uh, helicopter flew over. But yeah, she, she's not phased at all. She was falling asleep, but as I say, the cubs were like, oh, what's that? So I'm hoping if we sit here quietly, they might actually come out again. But she looks like a very sleepy lady. She's kind of doing that bungee necking. <laughs> I think that's Antima, she's finished her breakfast. No, apparently she's still hungry. <laughs> Hello, beautiful girl. I say, I'm saying a girl. Could be a, could be a little boy. But she does seem to be quite bold. Hi, Gillian, asking what all the wetness is. And I think it was actually the cubs when they came out, they went to the toilet. And obviously it wouldn't be very nice to be toileting inside the hole. So it's not quite in the right position for the female. Although she, I suppose she could have gone to the toilet before she lay down, but I'm pretty sure it would be the cubs when they came out. So, uh, just going back to the question about cats earlier with the, uh, say, with the skull as well. The last thing that is the difference between, oh, here we go. Just a little bit of patience. There we go. <laughs> so yes, the ear ball a or auditory bole and the parapsipetal process is not independent in the cats but it is in the dogs that was the third thing hopefully at some stage i'll be able to find a skull and show you that but this is so precious there we go we've got one cub actually feeding and just like antima was so lying along the belly uh, i believe that is the dominant position Are we going to see a little bit of a, a scrap between the two, I wonder? So the other position is lying in the opposite direction between the, the female legs. Oh, everybody is crooning over these two and it is absolutely delightful. Uh, I think that was a grey girl. Lara, Lara, Mora saying cute little bear creatures. Now I really do think these cubs have not spent a lot of time outside the hole because every little noise they are actually darting back into the safety of the hole. So that was a grey go away bird that just uh, called there which chased them into the hole. 